Too shy to show his face, homeless for four months. His dog, Mia, the only link to a past life. Go, got no family, you know. My mum died and the house got repossessed. Um, I got kicked out, obviously, didn't I? So. As night falls, scantily clad revellers head for the warmth of clubs and pubs, skirting the homeless who huddle together for warmth. Not enough room in the city's four main hostels for Liverpool's rough sleepers. But there is some respite. Betty Featherstone and Lynn Hutchinson are two volunteers who venture out with homemade sandwiches, soup and a bit of comfort. Obviously Christmas you get piles of stuff given and all that, but if people just did it a bit more, it would be you know even better. Um, you know, because a lot of the cafes open up around here at Christmas and do um, food and everything just for the homeless, which again is superb, but it's needed all year round. Only three weeks on the streets and Stephen has already realised the harsh reality he faces this Christmas. Open your eyes, don't just discriminate, don't discriminate against the homeless, open your eyes, it is a, it is a tough situation being on the streets and that, don't just class everyone as heavy drug users or like abuse people who are on the streets, you see people getting spat on and stuff like that. Although the kindness of these women is appreciated, it might not be enough. Yeah. I don't know. Just hope I wake up on Christmas Day, that's all. <laughs>